some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and today I'm doing a no run through review for Um Actually, the game of nerdy corrections. Now, this is going to be a little unorthodox of a review just because that of what this game is about. This is seems to be a passion project by College Humor. Uh, if you're not familiar with Um Actually, it is a game show that is on YouTube and I think Dropout, if that's even still a thing. Uh, where it's bringing in people and the host, Trap, gives incorrect statements and then people have to try and guess what those incorrect statements are and then correct him by saying, I'm um, actually, uh, you know, being that kind of guy. This is a show that I've been watching for years and it's, it's just one of my, like, guilty pleasures, I guess. Like, I genuinely enjoy this. I think it's hilarious. I like to sit there even if I, if it's over a theme that i have no clue about just to sit there and be like oh man let's just watch it because sometimes they do talk about things that i know and i still don't know how to get the answer right um yeah this is basically that but in a card game and it was on kickstarter so i of course backed it and i gotta say i am very very happy with the overall overall game so basically what it is it is a trivia game at its core you, uh, as players, pick from uh, a range of categories a certain number of cards, and then in between those cards there are shiny questions, which uh, shiny questions, like shiny Pokemon, uh, are a little bit different, a little bit rarer, but they're worth the same amount of points. And then the final is a real-life question that is actually about real life, not any of the topics you go over. And the overall game has a lot of categories, and a lot of cards. So the categories you got, you got Games, sci-fi, cartoons, comics, uh, then real life, and then shiny. Uh, community, 80s and 90s, horror, anime, and fantasy. And then there were two promo packs, which were Traps Treasures. I guess was just stuff that he liked, or just various. This is kind of like a catch-all. There's nothing really... And you're like, you have Legend of Zelda, Star Wars, uh, Super Animals, D&D... And then the other one, which is a pack that I don't really care about as of yet, and that's Dimension 20, which if you're not familiar, Dimension 20 is basically a live role-playing uh, game with where they play D&D &D with uh, Brendan Mulligan, which is kind of like the same guy as Matt Mercer for Critical Role. It's like Critical Role and Dimension 20 are like this. They're the two best, I think, live-action role-playing games that you can watch. And Dimension 20 uh, is is another category here. So unfortunately for me, right now, this is a deck that I could never answer a single thing just because I don't know anything about it. But that actually doesn't stop you from playing with it because the way that the game works is like, so everyone picks, it's like you could randomly do it or it's like, okay, we're going to do one from Community, one from Traps Treasures, two from Games, two from 80s and 90s, and then you pick... I don't know how many that was, but you have a total of, um, what was it? I think it was, uh, 12. Yeah. I want to say 12, 10 or 12. Um, cause really I just kind of do as many as I, as I feel like, yeah, you pick, Oh, where are you? Um, yeah. So nine, then yeah, you have 12. So, uh, yeah, because it's nine regular cards, um, then three shiny, qu no, two shiny questions, and then a real life question. So that's how you set it up, and then it goes in this little cardboard box where you just get to see the theme, and then you pick someone to be the host. So the host uh, will ask the first question, and then everyone guesses it. So I guess I'll give an example. Let's do let's do One Piece. Um, that's pretty popular right now with the movie. Uh, the movie's great, by the way. You should go see it. But how it works is, like, so a player will, like, read this. It's like, this is about One Piece. The Straw Hat Pirate's first full-size ship, the Going Mary, was special. It survived sailing up a mountain, repairing itself after being left on a sacrificial altar to God, and later floated out to sea by itself to save its crew. After the Marines destroyed it, it was resurrected as a small boat, the Mini Mary II, on the pirate's next ship, the Thousand Sunny. And I'm not going to give you the answer or the correction there. You can let me know in the comments. But what it is is what's highlighted on the card is actually the incorrect statement. And then players have to, at any anyone can do it, first one to go out and answer it, 
uh, has to say um actually and then say what's incorrect. If they just do a vague answer, you can be like, okay, you're on the right track, and and it's like I'll give you the point if anyone else, unless anyone can else be can be more specific, and then it tells you the answer on there. What's fantastic is each of these, there's 30 cards in each category, but they're double-sided. So you have 60 questions in each category. And so that's a lot of cards. That is a lot of trivia cards. Now here's my fundamental issue with this game and really any trivia game is, so you have these, and but once you know the answer, like you can't really, I mean, yeah, you could play it again, like, and just hope, like and play with other people and this is just an inherent flaw that there is a limit now there's a lot like i said there's um two four six eight ten ten eleven twelve total like twelve total individual decks and there's a bunch of shiny questions so twelve times sixty that's how many questions you got so there is a lot of uh content in here however once you know an answer or once you've gone over it then you're kind of that's like, all right, well, that one's done. Everyone that you're playing with is going to know that. So if that comes up again, I guess it's just a race of who to fix it uh, or for who to guess it. What am I saying? It's just a race of who gets it. Uh, so that is kind of really my only negative. Overall production quality, I think, is good. They have um, dry race boards. These are for the shiny questions. And then you keep track of your points. Uh, with a tab and luckily these are not loose or anything so it's just kind of like all right yeah you get a point then you just move it over it's like yay i have one point overall this is a light hearted game that is really it's i mean if you're a fan of i'm actually i think this is going to be awesome for you and but if you're just a fan of anything in this genre this could be a wonderful like kind of trivia fun party game to go into and hell, if you're playing with people who don't know the show, you could be like, oh, did you like that? Well, it plays just like they play it in the show. So go on YouTube and there's a bunch. Definitely watch more of the mid to later seasons of whatever they do because the earlier, early, early episodes, yeah, it was like trap in like some closet. Like it was just very, you could tell that it wasn't like as high produced as it is now. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it it's uh i don't know what to give it on a scale of one to ten just because i really like the show and so i really like the game so i'm gonna go with a very solid eight i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten it's like it's not a game that i've been like i'm not always clamoring to play but i'm also not always wanting to play party or trivia games but out of most trivia games this one is just an absolute blast to play and what I've also been doing just casually is like, I'll just kind of like open up the box real quick and I'll just be like, uh, uh, okay, this is about Avengers Endgame and just, just randomly just, uh, ask trivia questions, which can also be fun if you just want to do that. But I highly recommend if you're a fan of the show, go and see if you can get a copy of this. Um, oh yeah, and storage is really nice. Weirdly enough, there is a storage for one more pack. Uh, cause if you look at like, this is what it looks like, um, like normal, and but I was like I was double checking the, um, like my the Kickstarter and the Traps Treasures and the Dimension Twenty were the only promo packs, so it's just weird how there's one empty slot that I feel like I'm like am I missing am I missing a pack like, I guess I'll maybe I'll triple check just to see, but it'd be really cool if they supported it. So I think always more trivia questions would would be great uh so i guess we'll see how well it does but yeah i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 i really like it really like the show so that's uh pretty much it everyone so let me know what you think of the game in the comments below other than that like comment share and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you hey everyone thank you for watching and i really hope that you enjoyed the video if you would like to see more of my content go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever i upload any new content if you feel like supporting the channel you can go ahead and click that patreon link to be taken to my patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.